Okay, we start with pre-UPS set A, uh, section A, reaction rekinetic. So, there are five questions in this section. Answer all questions. Which of the following statement is correct about effective collision? There are two factors that affect effective collision. So, we know it's about EA and also the orientation. Okay, so look at the answer. Colliding molecule must possess minimum energy equal to or less than. So this is incorrect statement because the uh, the kinetic energy must equal to uh, is is equal or greater than EA. Okay, the first statement is incorrect. Colliding molecule must possess e uh, energy equal or greater than activation energy. So, this statement is correct. And collide at correct orientation. Yes, this uh, the second one also correct. So, the answer is B. Okay. But we look at the third option here. The colliding molecule must possess energy equal to or greater than activation energy. And collide. Okay, this statement is incorrect. Uh, colliding molecule must possess energy equal to or less than. Okay, less than. The statement is incorrect. Okay, we go to the second one. Uranium-238 will decay half from its initial concentration in 4.5 billion years. This statement is an example of application of the concept. Of course, the answer is half-life because half, it decay half. So, the answer is D. Which of the following statement about catalyst is true? So, we know catalyst is a substance that increase, increase the rate of reaction. without itself being consumed and catalyst provide an alternative pathway which has a lower activation energy compared to the one without catalyst so look at the answer catalyst change the mechanism of reaction no catalyst increase the amount of product no catalyst decrease the enthalpy of reaction also no it's not will effect the catalyst does not take part chemically during the reaction yes this is uh, the correct answer uh, as i said before the uh, the catalyst uh, increase the rate of reaction without itself being consumed so the answer is d okay we go to the next one for the reaction 2no react with two mole of hydrogen to produce one mole of nitrogen and two mole of water the rate law is given rate equal to k uh, concentration of no power of two times the concentration of hydrogen which statement is incorrect careful with this one incorrect to represent the reaction so, look at the answer. The reaction is second order with respect to NO. Yes, this is true. Second order. Okay, the reaction is first order with respect to H2. Yes, this is also true because this is power of 1. The reaction is second order with respect to H2. So, this is incorrect. The reaction is third order. So, 2 plus 1 equal to 3. So, overall is third order. So, the final, the the incorrect statement is the reaction is second order with respect to hydrogen. Okay, next question. Based on Arrhenius equation, it can be said that, okay, so we know the Arrhenius equation K, sorry, K equal to A E exponent negative E A over R T or ln K equal to ln A minus E A over R T. So according to this statement, um, we know that uh, the rate constant K is directly proportional to the temperature. 
is directly proportional to the temperature to the temperature and also we know that k is inversely proportional to the activation energy this one okay so look at the option here the temperature decrease the temperature decrease the rate constant increase the temperature increase the rate constant decrease so this statement is incorrect the activation energy increase the rate constant is increase okay look at the answer here Okay, uh, the activation energy, yes, this one, sorry, this one, increase, the rate constant increase. This is also incorrect. The activation energy increase, uh, the rate constant increase. Uh, so, tebat salah lah. This is incorrect. So, the activation energy decrease the activation degree decrease the rate constant decrease okay because uh, rate constant and ea is inversely proportional the temperature increase the rate constant increase so this statement is correct the temperature increase the rate constant increase so the answer is d okay c uh, b and c is directly proportional uh, between activation energy and rate constant. Actually, uh, the rate constant is inversely proportional to the activation energy. Uh, 